Let's learn about dividing a whole number by a decimal. Alright, I might be given the problem 7 divided by 0 0.5. That's a whole number divided by that decimal number. This can be rewritten like this here. 7 divided by 0 0.5. Now our divisor here, 0 0.5, it'd be much easier for me if this was just 5 as opposed to 0 0.5. And so if I write an equivalent fraction here, for that fraction that I'd ended up writing there, I would have, how do I get from 0 0.5 to 5? I would have to multiply by 10. And I'll show my work there. 0, 1 times 5 is 5. 1 decimal place, 1 decimal place. So I multiplied by 10 in my denominator. What would I have to multiply in my numerator by? Right, 10. So 7 times 10 is 70. And so 7 divided by 0 0.5, or 5 tenths, is basically 70 over 5, which is 70 divided by 5. And I show my work there. And you'll see that the answer is 14. So that 7 divided by 0 0.5 is 14. Here I have the problem 8 divided by 0 0.4. And again, what I want to do is I want to move the decimal point so that I have 4 as my divisor instead of 8 as my divisor. And this time I'm going to show it to you right there within the problem. If I multiplied that by 10 there, on the previous screen you saw that this was valid, I'd have to multiply this by 10 here. Again, it looks like this here where we had 8 divided by 0 0.4, it's perfectly valid for this fraction to go ahead and multiply by 10 in the numerator and denominator. And so that's just another way to show it. As you see here, 0.4 times 10, I'll end up with 4. And 8 times 10 is 80. 4 goes into 8 two whole times. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. Bring down the 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. And 0 times 4 is 0. 0 minus 0 being 0. So that we have our whole number sentence of 8 divided by 0 0.4 equaling 20. Here's another problem for you to try. This is 3 divided by 0 0.2. 3 divided by 0 0.2. What does it equal? Go ahead and show your work to be able to solve that. Hit pause, please. All right, we moved our decimal point by multiplying by 10 because we only need to move it one place to clear that decimal point so that we're working with 2 instead of 0 0.2 as our divisor. So we rewrite that there. And 3 times 10 is 30. 2 goes into 3 one whole time. 1 times 2 being 2. 3 minus 2 being 1. Bring down the 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5, because 5 times 2 is 10. And 10 minus 10 is 0. So I have 15. And that's our answer. Read that number sentence with me again. 3 divided by 0 0.2 equals 15. 3 divided by 2 tenths equals 15. Let me show you another problem. Here we have 15, which is still a whole number, divided by 0 0.2. So we have 15 here divided by 0 0.2. And again, we're going to look at our divisor here. And since there's one decimal place here, we'll multiply by um, 10 there. If there were two no decimal places, we'd actually multiply by 100 to go ahead and clear the decimal places there. So we multiply by 10 there, and we'll multiply this by 10 as well. Rewriting it, we have 150, and we have 2. 150 divided by 2 is 75. I'll show my work for that, though, just to be precise. That's there. 
So my answer is 75. 15 divided by 0 0.2 is 75. I'll show you another type of problem you might encounter. We have 5 divided by 0 0.8. And so what we do again is we need to clear out this decimal number. So we'll multiply by 10, and we'll multiply by 10. Rewriting our division problem, we have 50 divided by 8. And our problem here, and this is why it's a new problem, is that 50 does go into 8, except there's still some more things to divide. 50 divided by 8 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48, and 50 minus 48 is 2. So just as before, we need to add a, another place value so that this is a decimal point there. And so we have 20 divided by 8, which is 2, 2 times 8, which is 16, and 20 minus 16, which is 4. And I add another 0 to bring down another 0. 40 divided by 8 is 5. And at this point, I look right here. I've got two decimal places here. So I will have two decimal places within my answer as well. And so that's what it is that we have for our answer there. 6.25. I did skip that last step there because I also ran out of room. Here's a problem for you to try. Set it up, hit pause, and follow those steps that we had talked about earlier in the video. Since there's one decimal place for our divisor, we multiply by 10 and rewrite our division problem as 810 divided by 4. 4 goes into 8 two whole times. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0, and we bring down the 1. 1 divided by 4 is 0, because 0 times 4 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is 1, and bring down the 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 10 minus 8 is 2. At this point, I need to add a decimal point and a decimal place value there of 0, 0 tenths, and I bring that straight down. 20 divided by 4 is 5, because 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 minus 20 is 0. So I'm done, besides placing the decimal point. And again, one place value, decimal point, place value that I placed, and then so I have to place it right there. So my answer is 202.5. I'm going to show you one last problem. I have 6 divided by 0 0.03. And the thing I need to notice here is that 0 0.03 has two decimal places. And since it has two decimal places, to be able to clear it, and what I mean is to be able to make it a whole number, we need to multiply it by 100. This is why. This is why we need to do it and you would do it for both the divisor and for the dividend. This is why we need to do it, is we have three hundredths written as a fraction, and if we multiplied by 100, they would cancel each other out, and we would be just left with 3 times 1, which is just 3. By multiplying by 100, you've moved the decimal place to the right two places. So you get 3. 6 times 100 is 600, and then we would just do our division. 600 divided by 3 is going to be 200, and here's the work that shows that. And again, if I have a 0 there, then I go through those steps, and again, it's step by step for that division problem. Sometimes there can be a decimal number inside of our quotient, and sometimes there's not. Sometimes there's not. So our answer, though, goes right here of 200. 6 divided by 3 hundredths is equal to 200. I'm going to walk you through one. We have 8 divided by 0 
What are we going to multiply the divisor and the dividend by? Right, 100. What are we left with with our divisor here? When we rewrite our division problem. Ideally, you said 4. And what goes inside here? 800. So we just need to solve 800 divided by 4 so that we have our solution of 8 divided by 0 0.04. That's going to be 200. Here's my work showing that within my problem here. Where I went step by step. And that's how we're going to go ahead and divide by a whole number, a whole number, by a decimal.